Hey, Redcon Raider here, and welcome back to Jagged Alliance 3. As today, we kick things off by dealing with a certain lone arranger. Yeah, while I'm not super crazy about robbing folks, it does seem like Frederick over there is some sort of sports bookie and or loan shark. And he's definitely feeding into the whole issue with the local slave trade. I mean, if we're taking down the good place anyway, might as well take him down while we're at it. Sure. Follow me, or I'll just follow you. Nope, that's fine. Ready. Going. It's actually kind of surprising he doesn't have guards. If he had some mooks guarding the place, I'd be slightly more hesitant to do this. Nice. What? Let's go. Honestly, I don't understand the point of not hiding. Trying to be All right, quiet. let's check out the withdrawal symptoms. Oh no! First the Legion robs me, and now you! Please don't take that money! It's all that I have left! If all you have in life is money, can you it's say that you ever stealing, truly no lived? To call it that. Plus one loyalty. Okay. Let's see how the locals like this. No, no, no! Don't you take that! Look! I named the shop Les Mercenaires! Just don't rub me, please! Jeez, Fred, this this is just sad, man. Still taking it, though. I mean, this thing's worth three extra loyalty, plus four militia. And three additional loyalty. Wow. The locals really hate sure. this guy. We'll get there. Okay. I've been robbed and violated in a most vicious way. I will write a letter to the president himself. You will see. Who wants to tell him? Can I tell him? I'll tell him later. Yeah, okay. Right, thanks, Mouse. Follow me, or I'll just follow you. Nope, that's fine. Did you learn anything about my... Nope, but I do have this. Oh, nice. A tablet with a... Yes, I can! Oh, I'm sorry. Nice. So net, plus seven loyalty. No, uh, no cash reward mentioned, though. Great. Which I guess is fine. I mean, the militia alone is worth, like, a grand. Of course. Find my father before... No, no, we do. We do get paid. For some reason, it just didn't pop up during the actual transaction. Maybe because it's considered to come from the governor or something, as opposed to Emma herself. Ass. Regardless, that's just icing. That said, I believe our business here is done for the time being. So let's set our sights on the good place. Now, full disclosure, I have not checked that place out at all. So I'm going into this thing blind. Um, I do have a side game running, but like I said last time around, they headed straight north. So I've been to Diamond Red, I've been to um, Pantagruel. I have not been to any of these locations. So you'll have to forgive me if I'm a little overly cautious here. Uh, I'll get right on it. I'm finished with my task. I'm going to take my 15-minute break now. That said, um, given that we have no idea how long this thing's going to take, I think we'll just skip right over L7. We'll hit it on the way back. I want to make sure we have enough time to actually wrap up L6. Done. That was kind of easier than I thought it would be. 
Ah, crud. Yeah, and I was afraid this was going to happen. This just happened in my side campaign, too. Apparently the mines do deplete over time. They don't fully run out as of the latest patch. But that'll drastically cut into our income, which is why I've been hesitant to set up a second team. Once we're done here, we'll definitely have to go north, grab some extra mines. Five enforcers, twelve goons. That's not awful. The enforcers are kind of tough. Those are the shotgunners. The guards, though. I feel like those are just the generic rank-and-file riflemen. So they're definitely going for quantity over quality. Right off the bat, we've got a gated enclosure, two towers, only one occupied. Looks like a work pit or something. Secret stash down there. Weak fence, so that's obviously the approach they want us to take. Which, to be fair, does bring us around behind them and straight to this armory. We've got, like, a central alleyway here between the two prisoner pits. And there's our main building. Filled to overflowing with angry mooks. Including the big one, Jackhammer. We've got a single enforcer up top here. Oh, wait. That guy's rocking a... That looks like a rifle. That's not a shotgun. Huh. He's on a vantage point, but I'm not seeing much in the way of cover there. So... I don't think we'll get much use out of it. Honestly, the towers up front seemed like a better bet. Look at that. Interesting. So I guess there must be a subterranean layer on this map. I didn't even notice. Honestly, looking at our options here, I feel like the towers up front are our best bet. They clearly want us to go around the perimeter, picking people off, setting up camp near that vantage point in back, but... We have an opening right here. We've got access points on ground level. We're under cover of darkness and rain, I think. Yeah, I mean, I'm not seeing much real advantage we'd get from coming all the way around. We could just punch through the front here and immediately take these towers. That would also put us right across from the main structure, and we could pick them off as we lure them out. Not to mention, of course, we have much more uniform cover up in these towers than we would on that vantage point out back. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it sounds like a pretty solid plan. We'll punch through the fence here, we'll grab that right tower, have Mouse creep across, clear that other sentry. And then we'll just kind of feel things out from there. They cannot hit what they cannot see. If things go completely sideways, we'll also be close enough to the exit grid that we can immediately retreat. Though hopefully it won't come to that. Enemy soldier. Looks like he is just doing his job at the moment. This sneaky shit ain't my style. We do have some roamers, we'll have to keep an eye on that. Though on the bright side, that also makes for easy kills. That might have to do. I think we have time to get up top. Oh, oh, yeah, okay, well. We definitely have time now, he's... But now we have to wait on this guy, right? Go away, go away, shoot. Oh, 
Come on, it's raining. Get back inside. You'll catch your death out here. Not a problem for a mouse. There we go. Careful. This mouse bites. Okay, let's get up top. We'll need Mouse at the ready to take out that other guard before he realizes anything's amiss. Quiet as a church mouse. So far, so good. Careful, this mouse bites. I'm good at making people ignore me. Oh, no, come on. Huh? Who are these guys? It's fine. We uh, we get one more shot at it. I hope. Yes. Okay. Come on, mouse. <clears throat> oh, he did not raise the alarm. Okay. Mouse, you're killing me here. Je suis blessé. All right, anyone have an open shot? Quiet ain't my strong suit. Colina? I shall not make a noise. The villain won't see this coming. When I was little, my goodness. I hide from everyone. I'm good at being overlooked. Thank goodness it's raining right now, or we would have never gotten away with that. As silent as a spirit in the that guy, though, he was, uh... Surprise shot from he was so heavily armored that even the Dragonob couldn't get through it. That's it not... That's not a good sign. I shall not make a noise. This will surprise them. This guy is a softer target, though. So maybe it was just the guy on the front gate. Two down, fifteen left. Good at making people ignore me. We also pulled a level up on Livewire, but we won't worry about that just yet. We know there's at least one more roaming. Hide and shoot. That is my game. And I think the general idea here is that we'll let him walk back, spot the body, and raise the alarm. And then once he does, we'll have our squad split up over these two towers, poised to lay down some withering crossfire as they come out to investigate. Found one. I'll do it as quiet as I can. Trying to be quiet. And then that should hopefully help us deal with the bulk of them. I will try to remain. Though I'm sure we'll have at least a couple of stragglers who hang back in the corners of the map and have to be rousted. Trying to be quiet. They cannot hit what they cannot see. When I was little, I would hide from everyone. Let's go ahead and do Livewire's level up real quick. Nothing fancy, we're just going for Inspiring Strike, which will unlock our path to Shock and Awe at level 5. And now we wait. Getting this shot would be like something out of a fairy tale. Ready to go unnoticed, hide and shoot. That is my game. Too late. But it looks like he might be circling around, so once he comes around on the right side... We'll have Kalina pop him. I mean, in theory, it might take him out. If it does, we'll take it. I'm assuming at some point, though, one of these stealth shots will be flubbed and I someone will raise the alarm, which is what? kind of what we want, but. Hide and shoot. That is my game. Obviously, the more we can kill before that happens, the better. Come on. What? All right. We're on. Oh. And down he goes. That's three. Fourteen left. We have another roamer behind. 
too, technically. I'm not sure if those guys come all the way around, though. We've got this stray in the pit as well. But between the darkness and the rain, no way we'd land that shot. Though we could take one anyway, see if we can provoke. Quiet as a church mouse. Okay, he yes? definitely knows something's going on. Let's give him a chance to raise the alarm. We'll, um, we'll set up some crossfire on the door. Set him up and I'll knock him down. Better to go unnoticed, yeah? I'm assuming these guys will come pouring out once they know at making people ignore me. there's someone lurking out front. Yes? Quiet as a church mouse. Huh. Or not. Uh, apparently they still have no idea anything's going on. This sneaky shit ain't my style. Okay, I will give them another turn, I guess. Hmm? I mean, that guy over there clearly knows something's going on. He just do it seems to be at a loss on what to do about it. Hide and shoot. That is my game. This sneaky shit ain't my style. Nobody gets past me. Okay, still nothing. Careful, this mouse bites. Though this guy's now hugging cover here. Hmm. All right. Well, what? let's try this. I will try to remain hidden. The guys inside that building are completely unaware we're here. To make me watch over everyone. So we'll keep covering the exit, but we're going to have Rhett creep up closer. Quiet, ain't my strong suit. Pop some buckshot through the front door, see if that gets their attention. Huh. Okay, we might have to go heavier on this. I'll do it as quiet as I can. Yeah, okay. We'll move up even closer. Puck a grenade in through the front door. That should get their attention. Ready. I mean, to be fair, I guess it is raining. Rain does dampen the sound. So they just legit don't seem to know there's anything going on outside. Especially since, obviously, we... We killed their perimeter guards. And apparently they have no sort of radio system going on. So that will take a turn or two to get up a bit closer. The watch over our party. We'll have MD move in for support just in case things go sideways. And see if we can jostle something loose. Quiet as a church mouse. Alright, here we go. Flashbang can't get through the door. We'll just stick it to him. There we go. Oh, right, I guess I should have set cones before I did that, but that's fine. At least something's right happening. That's a step in the right direction. Trying to be calm? I don't think so. They will definitely spot me. Hmm. Let's not risk leaving anyone outside. They'll be boiling over like an anthill in a second. It's an easy shot to make from cover. It's not technically murder if no one is. Plus one marksmanship. Bonus. 
Yes. Let's get cone set. I'm good at making people ignore me. Right. I'll keep a lookout. Yes. And here we go. Yeah, not gonna lie, that could have gone better. Let's move out. Guys, you're killing me here. Fuck. Okay, here we are. They know we're here. Would have been nice to land more hits while they were scrambling, but we're in good shape. Let's Why clear this guy. From a safe distance, Careful. enforcers shoot back. As long as there isn't a cat nearby, I should be able to get away with this. Nice. Tower's clear. Set cones. Hello there. Actually, I much prefer combat we've got some good like shots here. Or not? Yes. Okay. Now let's get cones set. You want something? We'll do them shorter. Being quiet ain't my strong. Make sure they clear the doorway before we actually fire. Ready. Going undercover. Yes? I will try to remain hidden. Scatter! Hmm. Oh, okay. The hell you want? What? Live wire here. This is so exciting. We've got some clean shots here. Fantabulous. When I, I agree, that, that was indeed fantabulous. Quiet as a church mouse. Watch me put this one down like a sick dog. And now the guy on the right. That hurts. Oof. That's another heavily armored guy. Yes? Presently in attendance. A good surprise shot from here. And down he goes. This will surprise them. The villain is helpless before me. Careful. What's that now? Six out, eleven left. Set cones. Don't be ridiculous. Ready. Hmm. Oh, no. Here we go. I was about to say they were getting smarter. They were entrenching themselves, but then these bozos wrapped around the left side. Making people ignore me. So let's take them out. Ah. Oof. This is no problem. Get out of here. Take your ball and go home. Ooh, that looked really quite painful. Hey, inspiring strike. Nice. As silent as a spirit in the woods. Let's get MD in on this. Quietly? Like this? But make sure he's got points to fall back on. No luck. Fall back. I shall not make a noise. Kalina, help us out here. 
That will do. You want something? With just enough points left for modest coverage. I do notice the guys in the pits are staying entrenched, though. As are the guys out back. Yes. Good. Down to the last two inside. Ready when you are. The guys on the rear balcony are staying put. The ones in the pits are moving around, but Meltdown here. I think it's Ready. pretty clear they're not coming out. Um, Michael here. So once we clear these last two guys, never good at hide and seek. We'll need to send teams to rouse the rest. Easier than shooting beer bottles. Okay. Damn, Not bro, awful. That'll slow him down. Not worth wasting another shot, though. Yes. And that's Jackhammer just inside the window. That is an unknown quantity. Quiet as a church mouse. And he does seem too smart to come running outside. Hello there. So, I guess I guess we'll start pushing up. Honestly, I do not feel it is fair to make me watch over everyone. Most of our guys are hidden, so you want something? We'll keep the door covered. Push our CQC guys up closer. Fine. I'm going. We'll take it slow though. Not entirely sure what to expect from this guy. I'm good at making people ignore me. Meltdown here. Trying to be quiet. Try to remain hidden. I'm good at making people ignore me. Quiet. Nice. When I was little, I would hide from everyone. You want something? I shall not make a noise. Quiet as a church mouse. Okay, we've got action. Wow, he just tanked that sniper round. What? And we're blown. Hidden status lost. But we're bang on target. Pop a couple of point blanks in his dome. That should take the sass out of his step. Acknowledged. Ooh. Okay, arm shots it is. Not gonna lie, that was less effective than I had hoped it would be. Okay, let's try head. <laughs> you think you can hurt me? <laughs> Internal I'm organs down. perforated. Presently in attendance. This is so exciting. My goodness. I really should have just shot him from a distance. Oh, 
I really wish there'd been some poor warning he could do that. I think I can do this. Oh boy. Hmm? Just keep hammering. We'll get some medics on Rhett once I we're clear. A villain in my sights. All right, I get it. You are tough. Really tough. Let me make you a deal. Yeah, you maybe should have thought of that before you shattered my rib cage. Careful, this mouse bites. Careful, this mouse bites. Ah, that hurt. Ready to um do stuff. Kill that man. Blind Johnny shoots better than you. MD, buddy, you gotta work with me here. Going there? Uh, I can't do it. Maybe someone better than me should take this shot. <laughs> okay, okay. You walk. Watch me put this one down like a sick dog. Thank goodness. That was really neat. You looked really cool. Oh boy. Um, never mind. I was starting to think that this was where it was all going to go sideways. Mouse here. Okay. There you go. All better. MD present. Live wire here. All right, let's keep them covered. Galena here. Have a watch over our party. Meltdown here. Yeah, okay. Thanks. I appreciate it. Rats back in. Nice, though. Obviously a bit too fragile to go rabble house. rousting. I'm good at making people ignore me. There's no way they ain't gonna see me. Yeah, we'll have him sit this out. Way too risky. I mean, honestly, I've actually been kind position. of thinking of sidelining him anyway. As much as I like it's having a terrain. custom Merc, it's just not... Um, it's not the same as having one of the ones with like personality, you know? Though I suppose if we did swap him out, yes? we'd want to do it with one of the Mercs that has the um, negotiator perk, because otherwise we'd miss out on that content. I'm good at making people ignore me. Just something I've been mulling over recently. As I start weighing our options for a second potential squad. Okay, so Sniper in back has no idea we're here. Guys in the pits know we're here, but have no interest in confronting us. Guys on the back balcony know we're here, but seem to have no interest in confronting us either. And, you know, now that I am looking at this building, I kind of see why. Because, unless I'm missing something, there is no way up there except for that rear staircase, which they have direct line of sight on. So getting up that thing without being spotted would definitely be tricky. Trying to be quiet. Hmm. Let's see if we can shake him loose just by moving up closer. This sneaky shit ain't my style. Yeah, I see you. Quiet as a church mouse. Those guys in the pits are going to be a pain in the ass too. Quietly? 
Like this? They cannot hit what they cannot see. Let's bring up the snipers. My Babusia told me to hunt this way. We'll bring them around, try to get an angle on the holdouts. I'm good at making people ignore me. Ooh, I am not super comfortable with this, but I'm good at making people ignore me. We've got to do something. Okay, so no line of sight from here. I'll do it as quiet as I can. We're good as long as we sucks. hug these crates. Trying to be quiet. I sincerely doubt we'll get up those stairs without him spotting us, though. Better to go unnoticed, yeah. That would bring us within, as silent as a like spirit. two spaces of him. No movement. All right, let's pop a shot. As long as there isn't a cat nearby, I should be able to get away with this. Oh. Oh, come on. That guy Trying didn't even quiet. see it coming. This sneaky shit ain't my style. Where All right, well... I mean, that feels quiet, unfair, but fine. Suit. No harm done, I guess. This well, um... The best way to do I mean, it's once per battle, so he can't do it again. My Babusia told me to this way. But that is definitely not kosher. Okay, he's not getting back up. Though on the bright side, he's no longer covering the stairs. He's now got his face smashed up against the the wall there. So I guess we're good to push up. I'll do it as quiet as I can. Let's bring Red up. Okay. We might have to blast these guys out. Uh, I was never good at hide and seek. Quiet as I'm okay with just running and hiding. There's no way they ain't gonna see me. This would be so much easier if there was an alternate access point. They cannot hit what they cannot see. Better to go unnoticed, yeah? I shall not make a noise. Okay, okay, he's staying down. I'm good at making people ignore Moving up. We're just one turn out from knife range. I will say this is very stressful. Quiet, because I have no idea if these guys are just going to suddenly jump up and decide to spot us and shoot us at point blank range. Um, quietly? Like this? Though I will say, at least we have the benefit of Livewire. If we didn't have her, we'd just be XCOMing it right now, you know. When I was little, very slowly grid sweeping the entire map, trying to figure out where people are just camping My told me to this until way. we happen to stumble across them. Oh, don't you dare. You. Okay, we've been made, this but... Bites. Right. Uh, mouse. Knives out. Stressful, but I'll do it. Make it count. That hurt. This ain't good. I'm a sitting duck here. One out. 
got one. Enough left for two swings. You got it. I'm a sitting duck here. That'll slow him down at least. Fall back. Pretty dangerous around here. I'll do it as quiet as I can. And... Sure. I have to imagine he's going after Mouse after a, a hit like that. So, let's be ready for it. Oh, okay. I guess we'll go all out. Got it. I'll shoot at anyone I see. I mean, the bad guys, of course. Just the bad guys. We'll get meltdown and live wire on the gate. Just sucks. in case those other guys start pushing up on us. As we saw with those two up top, once we get close, they get way more aggressive. Okay. always the best way to do things. We'll also get Colin on that oblivious sniper. As silent as a spirit in the woods. Being quiet ain't my strong suit. You killed my body. You're gonna pay. Nice. I shall not make a noise. Main building clear. That just leaves the pits. The villain won't see this coming. Do you also have lightning reflexes? What are you doing here? Gosh darn it. Leave now or die. That's really gonna pad out some of these fights you are. if they start throwing bad guys at us who are basically sneak attack proof yes Ready to go on boy to I'm not a fan of that this sneaky shit ain't I think that's style. the first thing I've run into in this game that I'm really just kind of rolling my eyes at all right fuck it if you're gonna use cheese ball tactics I will too I mean, seriously, if every enemy starts having lightning reflexes and revenge, Grenade! it's just going to make these fights a chore. I'll just have to start slapping grenade launchers on everyone's guns. You can't lightning reflex a grenade. Okay, will do. I assume. I mean, who knows? Maybe you can. Okay, I'll do it as quiet as I can. This sneaky shit ain't my style. Nobody gets past me. They cannot hit what they cannot see. Yes? Take that. I don't know. Maybe I'm overreacting. I mean, it is just a once per fight thing. Hmm? It's annoying, but you have a good shot. It's not insurmountable. Ready when you are. Quiet as a church mouse. I'm in bad shape here. Let's set up a crossfire on that entrance gate. They do look like they're acknowledged. Ever so slowly working up their courage to push out. Um, Michael here. Trying to be quiet. They cannot hit what they cannot see. This is always the best way to do things.
Shut him up and I'll knock him down. Oh, yeah, look at that. They're just straight up rushing it now. Okay, well, that does make things easier. This sneaky shit Unless they auto dodge. This is no problem. Never liked them anyway. Nope, he's very Ooh, dead. That looked really quite painful. Actually, that was an enforcer, and they are the guys with lightning reflexes, so it should have Being triggered. Ain't my strong suit. Maybe, um, maybe we wiped it when we tagged him with that grenade over the wall. No way, they ain't gonna see me. If that's the case, then that is a legitimate way to circumvent it, hitting them with unavoidable damage before going in for the kill shot. Please don't shoot me! Please don't shoot me! Yes? I suppose the other possible approach is just to make sure you always have at least two people poised to deliver stealth kill shots. Though I'm not sure that would have actually worked in this guy's case. I think um, I think once he went prone, we just straight up couldn't see him. So I'm not sure that would have actually worked on him. He was also positioned where I don't think there was any reasonable way we could have snuck up for a knife kill. Explosives, though. That might have worked. I will try to remain hidden. <clears throat> I'm hurt. Ah, oof. Fatima. Left fence clear. Yeah, see, this is even goofier, because that guy clearly couldn't even see us. He was outside his visual range because of the, um, the Not darkness and the rain. This and yet he it. still spidey sensed that first shot we took on him. I got this one. But I need a bandage. Hey, I think I can do this. That one's for mimes everywhere. Lovely. The hell you want? All right, let's wrap this up. And we're done. You know, aside from Rhett's just completely destroyed sternum, I don't boss. think that was really that bad. Let's go. I do not know what it is, but we should probably take Wait. it just in case we need let's it. Let's be reasonable. Let's talk. That said, let's jack this guy up. Why have you attacked my prison? You have committed a criminal act against a legitimate Grand Xi'an detainment facility. The authorities will hear of this. Yeah, no, it turns out that we're actually working for the authorities. You, on the other hand, are with the Legion. The trouble in the region has four certain budget cuts. Some of the guards may have taken side jobs to compensate. I don't control what they do outside these walls. Uh-huh. So, sure, I'll bite. You're also working for the LaFontaines? My name is Jacques Marteau, and I am the director of the Ajani State Prison. I am a public servant, and you have no right to attack my people or this institution. No, no, I'm like 97% certain you're just a slave lord in a jumpsuit. And who says that? I am a director of a respected institution that you unlawfully attacked. Uh-huh. Livewire? I once pretended to be a mountain climber, something
something I know nothing about in order to meet a very cute boy I liked. I did a much better job at it than you're doing pretending to be a prison director. I am just trying to help people. It's not my fault they are lazy and won't pay back their debts. Right, so... a debtor's prison? I am sorry, but being unable to pay your debts is a crime here in Grandshian. What can I do? Such is the law. Perhaps my lending practices have landed some people in prison. My judgment is not perfect, we. Oui? But whose is? Let they who are without sin be the first to throw a stone. All right. I guess I'll wait to go second. I don't think I've sinned, but I am not very good at throwing. Someone else should go first. All right, all right, yes. I am doing a little bit of involuntary workforce distribution. And in return, I get a little something for myself. It's not as bad as it sounds. The prisoners walk off their loans and get some exercise as well. Let us be reasonable. If you want to have one of those wretches down below, just name him. We don't have to fight over some goddamn prisoner, do we? Gosh, so gracious now that all your men are dead. So how'd you get this job, anyway? The Major took this place because he needed recruits. I was not just an inmate. I was the leader of its most powerful gang. The Major recognized that fact and made me the new director of this place. I don't even want to ask what happened to the old prison director. Don't worry your pretty little head. He's just resting. In peace. This good place turns criminals into soldiers for the Legion. Or laborers. Inmates here either submit to my will and pay off their debts with service, or they never leave. That's why they call me Jakama the Breaker. Really not making a good case for yourself here, buddy. You got a guy named Luigi here? Is that why you are here? You just want that little Italian asshole? Fine. I'll release him if you let me go. I don't want to hang around if releasing prisoners is what you want to do. Well, hold on. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I never said I was letting you go. I just wanted to know if you had him. No! I can give you money. I can give you slaves. Please, whatever you want. Deal. All right, you can go now. Don't say I never did nothing for you. Hey, look at this. Pretty. Oh my goodness. An AA-12 repeater shotgun. And a mini-me machine gun? Are you kidding? Uh, okay, you know, I'm just now realizing... It's, uh, it's a slight possibility we weren't supposed to come here this early. <laughs> that, uh, that may explain the... the superhuman guards. Though on the other hand, that does net us some pretty swanky equipment. Which, sadly, I'm not sure we have the ammo to really support, but... We're obviously not going to leave it behind. I'll also say that does actually make me slightly hesitant to breach that lower level. This fight was already nasty enough and we had every advantage. Getting tucked into close quarters with a bunch of melee guys with lightning reflexes and... revenge attacks. Doesn't sound like a good time. At least not as we are right now. Though I suppose if... I suppose if we make use of these new weapons we just got. That's a tough call. 
Especially with Rhett in the shape he's currently in. You know what? We're out of time anyway, so we'll hit the pause button for now. I'll um, do the usual off-screen bookkeeping, run around the map, ping all the valuables, and we will pick up here next time. I think it's really going to come down to whether Luigi's up top or down below. See you then. Oh, and special thanks to the Raiders, the fine folks who help make these videos possible. Including, but not limited to, Revenant, Eloise, Crow King LOR, Dragon Matrix 7, Dracut, Eerie V23, Egon Alter, Emil, Excelsior, Goatleaf, James Tremay, Kazor, Mark Giemza, Nathan Waltz Jr., Overlord Ferrum, Random Passerby, Robbie B., Rowan Church, Thomas Piatkowski, Trip Hop and Skip, and Val and Rook. Thanks for your support, guys. That said, if you'd also like to help support the channel, then feel free to push the buttons that do the things. Trust me, it does make a difference. Or you could even check out the PayPal, the Patreon, the Nexus GG, or the YouTube memberships. Links are in the description. Who wants to tell him? Can I tell him? I'll tell him later. <laughs>